Welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Buddy Press. Today I'm going to show you how to install and activate Buddy Press. We're going to do this in five simple steps. Step number one is to make sure that you have a working installation of WordPress multi-user. So I'm going to go to mine and log in. Now when you're in your dashboard, Step number two is to go to Plugins, click Add New, and then just search for BuddyPress. Okay, and here it is. So we're just going to click Install. Click on Install Now. And activate Plugin. Okay, so now your BuddyPress is activated. And we need to go to our FTP client. Now we're going to select the WP Content folder. Go into Plugins, and you'll see your BuddyPress plugin in there. Um, what we want to do now is move to directory. So go inside here in the BuddyPress folder, and we'll find the BP default directory. Under BuddyPress themes and the BPSN parent folder. So we're going to take both of those and we're going to move them to our WordPress content folder under themes. Okay, and now they've been moved to the themes folder. Your last step is going to be to activate the BuddyPress default theme. So we'll go back to our dashboard. Go to our site admin. Select themes. And then next to BuddyPress default, you want to click Yes. Update themes. Then we're going to go to Appearance. Click on Themes. And this is our last step. We should now be able to activate the BuddyPress default theme. So now we can see that is our current theme. So if we look at our site now, just right click and open it in a new window, we can see that we have the BuddyPress theme. And that's it. However, the only other thing that you might want to do right now is add a few widgets to your front page so it doesn't look so bare. So here I am under widgets, which you can find under the appearance menu in your dashboard. And we're just going to add some random widgets to the different sections. Let's go ahead and add the welcome widget. And just give it a little title. And we'll add members. And let's go ahead and add groups. Save each of those. 
and then go back to your page, hit refresh, and you should see all of your widgets in action on the front page. And that's how easy it is to add widgets. From there, you probably want to get started on theming your BuddyPress, and that will be our next tutorial.